By now, you may have already realized that having enough money is a prerequisite of having a good life. With money, you can buy the things you want, you can go to different places you want to go to, you can have more time for yourself because you don't have to think about all the bills you need to pay, all the money you're losing while taking on a vacation, and with this, the more time you get to spend with your family and loved ones. Let's face it, this is reality. Each move you make, there's money involved in it. So in order for you to have the life you want, you need to make the right decisions to greatly impact your financial life. And in this video, I will share to you 5 things preventing you from reaching your financial goals. So if you're new to the channel, do subscribe and of course, if you've learned something at the end of this video, be sure to click the like button as well. With that, let's start. First, the biggest problem most people do, overspending. Well, I know you've already heard this time and time again, but this is a problem of the vast majority of the population, buying the things they want even though they couldn't afford it. So how can you even start your journey if you don't have money left over to begin with? I know it's tempting to be in the trend with all the gadgets popping out here and there, eating at that fancy restaurant, buying that brand new car model you've been dreaming of owning those things immediately to live a life of luxury and posting it in social media. Sadly, most of us are living inside an illusion, thinking we are rich because we have all of these things. But beneath those luxurious things is an empty savings account. And worse, it's not just empty, you're even in the negative side because since you couldn't afford the things you bought or that travel vacation you dream of, you went on swiping your credit card, credit after credit. This is reality, and a lot of people are in debt because they couldn't wait for their savings to grow. So how can we correct this? Well, the easiest way to correct your spending habits is to be aware of it in the first place. Track everything that goes out of your pocket. I myself have an app in my phone. I track every penny that comes in and out of my wallet. This way I get to have an overview of my cash flow. With this, once you are aware of everything, you can decide the things that really matter and the things that can be removed. If you have an app subscription you aren't using, remove it. If you can go a day without drinking milk tea, remove it, slowly decreasing it bit by bit. Darren Hardy, the author of The Compound Effect, explained this very well, that in order for you to change a bad habit, you have to be aware of it. By tracking alone can solve this problem. And maybe, since you are so irritated to input every expense you make into your phone, you'd rather not spend at all, just so you won't have to open that tracker app. Next, after we've cured our spending habit, of course, we have to put that money to work. It would really be a waste to just leave it in your bank account that doesn't even beat inflation. Now this takes us to the second point for today. You are afraid to take risk. Just like what I mentioned, putting money into your savings account, well this isn't wrong to begin with if it's just a certain amount of money, like maybe your emergency fund. Because if you are putting all your money into your savings account, then it's actually like losing money. Why? As mentioned, because of inflation, a bank's interest in your savings account is less than 1%. Most of the inflation plays around more than 4%, and in some years, it's even more than 5%. With this, you get the clue. With just 0.25% interest a year for banks versus inflation of more than 4% per year, the value of your money decreases per year. To imagine the power of inflation, you remember the time when your parents say they can buy a Coke bottle for this amount, and right now, it's already risen in price where during their time, one Coke today is worth 7 Coke bottles back then. That's the biggest example of how inflation increases the price of things. So you may not notice it, like literally losing money, but the value of it is the one that changes. Most people tend to keep their money in piggy banks or savings account because they want security. They are afraid to use it and just end up losing it in the end. Well, you're already losing money to begin with just by keeping it there. If you sacrifice a bigger gain for security, then you would just repeat what the vast majority are doing, relying solely on their daily job, letting inflation sip away the value of their money without them even noticing it. To correct this, let your money work, invest it, it may be in a business or in the stock market, wherever you want that you know you will do well and of course something you can do in the long run. This is what the rich are doing, they aren't just hoarding cash under their savings account, more so a piggy bank, they let their money work for them. Just imagine, even while sleeping, they are still earning money. Like what the great Warren Buffett said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. This moves us to our next point for today and is connected to our second point. 
you are only speculating. How? Well, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people tend to keep their money tucked away in a savings account because of the fear of losing their money. Well, they have this fear because they don't know what they're doing. This is mostly seen in businesses and investing. They heard this kind of business is booming or their friend offered it to them, so they go on thinking that this would make them rich. But since they don't have the proper knowledge to handle that business, it went bankrupt in just a single year. Did you know that roughly 20% of small businesses fail within the first year and by the end of their fifth year, roughly 50% faltered and after 10 years, only a third of the businesses have survived. This is just a general survey of it, but this may even be much worse. Same goes in stocks, a lot just speculate because they heard their friend or a certain YouTuber is investing in this. They just go on invest their money to companies they don't even know and when the market takes a downturn, since they are only speculating, they panic, selling at the worst possible time. So these scenarios are a common thing to happen for the speculator because they lack the basics, the proper mindset and strategy. To correct this, study first before you even start. Know the very basics. This is often skipped especially in investing. But I tell you, knowing the basics alone is a life changer. Surround yourself with individuals that can help you start. But of course, these individuals should have a proven track record, not just some random friend that is all talk. Study legends in that certain field. This way you get to familiarize yourself to the environment you are going into. With that, this proceeds us to our next point. Now that we know all of these things, it would be for nothing if you are inconsistent. So why is this so important? Well, you may have encountered this or have seen this. Not all the smart people become successful in life. With this idea, even with all the knowledge you have acquired, it's useless if you wouldn't be consistent in doing it. This is probably where most people fail. They get excited, pumped up, they have cured their bad spending habits, they are already investing and no longer speculating. But as months or years goes by, that motivation has shut off. They couldn't take it anymore. They are feeling lazy in managing their money again or their business because they couldn't see a big change in their financial life. So they went back again to their old self. This is a common scenario, especially in investing, where it takes time for you to see your money grow. A lot of rich individuals got to that point because they broke this barrier. Even though they aren't motivated, they still continued on because they know this would bear fruit in the future. Even without motivation, they kept on enhancing and honing their skills. It's just like learning to play an instrument. You get hyped at start, then fail to continue it because the process is so long that you see others play a complicated piece while you're still in the beginner stage. In finance, not all of us has the same phase. Some people may take a short time to reach their financial goals, while some of us need to put in years to pull it off. We often stop because we keep on comparing ourselves to other people or the one you see in social media. A lot of those successful people has already put in the time and effort, we just didn't see it. All we see is the end product of their hard work, like the famous 10,000 hour rule, that it takes you 10,000 hours of intensive practice to achieve mastery of complex skills. So if you just have a time horizon of just mere months, then you would definitely lose motivation. Another reason why most people fail to continue on being consistent because of one thing, and this also puts us to our next point, you are overcomplicating things. Just like when you have a fitness goal, most people often fail to be consistent because they couldn't apply the things they are doing to their everyday life. Counting every calorie intake, going to the gym every day, after a month or so, they give up. You know for me, every time I do something, I always simplify things. I always think, how can I apply it in my everyday life as to make it a habit? Because I know it's the long game that matters the most. It's how you will survive staying in that game. This is the same especially for investing. Always keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. You know the great Charlie Munger emphasized this. We have a passion for keeping things simple, he mentioned. Because by making it simple, you can lessen the mistakes you are doing. And also, it makes easier for you to apply it in your everyday life. Robert Kiyosaki also explained this in his book Rich Dad Poor Dad. The KISS principle. Keep it simple stupid or keep it super simple. It's sad because most people wouldn't believe you if you became successful just by doing this because they think that the complicated things are the one that works, that that's too simple to work. Well, it has worked for countless of millionaires and billionaires out there. And in the investing world, a simple strategy even beats big fund managers. These are the so-called financial advisors and experts. And the most important thing about it is you get to stay with it in the long run. You get to be consistent because of its simplicity. You get to apply it to your everyday life. You become more efficient in your work. And this becomes a habit. With that, this ends our video for today. To summarize things up, don't overspend. 
Stop being afraid to take risks. Don't just speculate. Be consistent. And lastly, learn to simplify things. So I hope you've learned something and if you did and still haven't clicked the like button, now is the time to do so. And of course, if you want to learn more about investing in the stock market and finance, then might as well hit the subscribe button as well for you to be notified whenever I post new videos. So thank you and see you in the next video.